This guy is a true Ethiopian prince and a millionaire. However, he always wanted the girls to love him without money or titles. That's why he pretended to be a commoner. In 2005, Prince Joel McConnell met an older American girl, Ariana Austin, at a nightclub in Washington, D.C. They fell in love and started dating, but for a long time the girl didn't know that her boyfriend was from the royal family. What happened when she revealed the truth? Keep watching to find out this incredible love story. This is WOW channel. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin! This story began in 2005 in Washington, D.C. That evening, 21-year-old student Ariana went to a nightclub with a friend to drink a cocktail and listen to music. She wasn't looking for love and she was never in a relationship. However, she was relaxed and ready for new acquaintances. So she was delighted when a guy approached her and said that she looked like the model from the Bombay Sapphire ad. Ariana noticed that he was really handsome and had playful energy, so they connected right away, talked easily and laughed. The guy told her that his name was Joel, he was 23 years old and that he was finishing his last semester of college at American University, completing a double degree in international business. They talked for a few minutes and then he said, you are going to be my girlfriend. Later on the dance floor they had their first kiss, and a few days after that he called and asked her to dinner. A month after they met, Joel asked her to be his girlfriend. Ariane agreed because she was already charmed by this amazing guy. He was tender, humble, cosmopolitan and so nice. Joel was born in Rome, he had attended boarding school in Switzerland, lived in Ethiopia and was fluent in several languages. He told her that his mother worked at the United Nations and that his father, who'd passed away, had been a captain in the Ethiopian Imperial Army. However, he didn't tell her the main thing about himself. Joel was a member of the Ethiopian Imperial House of Solomon. He was a real prince with a great fortune. He didn't like to tell everyone about his title, probably because his family lived in exile for many years and he was raised like an ordinary kid. Perhaps he wanted the girls to love him primarily for his intelligence and charm and not for the title and money. Prince Joel David McConnell is a member of the oldest monarchy in the world, with a 3,000-year-old tradition descending from the biblical king Solomon and the queen of Sheba. He is the great-grandson of Haile Selassie I, the last emperor of Ethiopia, the great king of kings. In 1974, the monarchy in Ethiopia was overthrown by a military coup that installed a communist regime. Many members of the royal family were killed or imprisoned, some of them fled abroad. That's why Prince Joel David McConnell was born in exile in Rome. He grew up in Switzerland and France. Only in 1999 Prince Joel was able to return to his native country after the regime in Ethiopia was overthrown. The family returned the property that had been confiscated and all the imprisoned members of the royal family were released. Prince Joel lived for several years in Ethiopia, but in 2003 he transferred to American University in Washington, D.C., where he earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration. It was there that he met his future wife. However, for the first few months the girl didn't suspect that her boyfriend was a real prince. Ariana had nothing to do with royal life. She grew up in Washington, D.C. and was born into a family of professors, philanthropists and politicians. She is of African-American and Indo-Guyanese descent. The girl studied at Oxford and Harvard, loved literature and art. Ariana wanted to be a writer and, and arts manager, but she never dreamed of becoming a princess. She accidentally found out that her boyfriend is a real prince. One night the couple were out with a group of friends. One of them jokingly said, you know, you are dating a prince, right? The girl was shocked. She looked at Joel. Really? She asked. He nodded and smiled. Finally, he said, yeah. 
Joel used to shy away from telling people about his royal heritage. He spent his childhood traveling around Europe with his family and kept a low profile about their status as exiled royals. At first, Ariana didn't understand what a responsibility it was to be a member of the royal family. She was pleasantly surprised by the news, but didn't know the full scale of what it meant for them then. Later, Ariana admitted that their relationship wasn't her first priority. At that time, she was very young and didn't think about family life yet. Many years they stayed together while both pursuing their own careers. Only nine years after they started dating, Joel asked Ariana to marry him. At the time, Ariana had graduated from Harvard University and Joel finished up his law degree at Howard University. They got engaged in 2014, and in 2017 their luxurious wedding took place. It was an Ethiopian Orthodox ceremony in Temple Hills, Maryland. The ceremony was officiated by 13 different priests. The couple were both crowned during the ceremony per Orthodox matrimony tradition. The holiday was attended by over 300 guests. The bride and groom were dressed in classic suits, an elegant ivory dress and a blue tuxedo with a bow tie. The couple also wore traditional robes during the ceremony. The girl became part of a large royal family, and now everyone calls her Princess Ariana. However, she doesn't list her title on social media. It feels pretty weighty, but I am excited, she said. It's the world's oldest monarchy, and there is just something pretty powerful about that. Of course, I am happy to be a part of it, and I hope I can be of service and take all this goodwill and all this good energy and just turn it back and do good work in our countries. Joel is not only a prince of Ethiopia, he is also an attorney, businessman and writer. Together the couple created a media entertainment company called Old World New World. They also do charity work, and in their free time they travel a lot, have a rest in luxury hotels and attend elite parties. Princess Ariana admitted that she is very happily married to the prince. Despite their status, they live like a simple family during normal hours from work. Sometimes they can spend the whole day at home and cook their own meals. I once thought I might lose myself in a marriage, but instead life has opened up in ways I couldn't have imagined. It's clear that our greatest adventure has just begun, she said. It has been 18 years since they first met, and they are still together. Probably the prince made the right decision, because the future wife fell in love with him without knowing about his title and wealth. How would you react if you found out that your boyfriend or girlfriend was born into the royal family? Thanks for watching! Don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and to subscribe. See you next time!